Welcome. This is what has been happening on the Sun today, Monday, the 11th of April, 2011. Since the C flare of yesterday, we've only had a few minor B flares from the 1186-1189 complex. Just in the last hour, we've had a B9 flare that I think came from a region just coming over the east limb. So what's going on with the sunspots? 1189 and 1186 have shown significant levels of growth. Somewhat surprisingly, 1187 is still hanging in there, although the spots have got much smaller over the last 24 hours. And we have a new rapidly growing spot just trailing 1186. If it persists, it will probably be numbered tomorrow as 1190. Before we move on, let's take a closer look at the growth in those two sunspot regions, 1186 and 1189. Here's a more detailed movie from SDO of the development of those spots. You can see there's lots of small spots which are all moving around with respect to one another, which is probably the origin of the activity that we've been seeing from the region. Let's go now to the Stereo A spacecraft which is orbiting ahead of the Earth and see what activity there is going on in the regions that recently rotated off the disk. Not much activity going on there. Next we turn to the data from the Solar Dynamics Observatory, which is in geosynchronous orbit around the Earth, so sees the hemisphere of the Sun that is pointing towards us. In the white light and magnetic movies, I would like you to pay particular attention to the development of that spot just to the east of 1186, and also to the continued decay of region 1187 in the south. In the Helium 304 movie, look at the northeast limb. There seems to be some violent activity just over the back of the limb, and I think that was the origin of this B9 flare that I mentioned earlier. Same in the coronal movie. We can check that out by going to the data from the Stereo B spacecraft, whose orbit is currently 90 degrees behind the Earth, so we will be seeing regions that will be coming onto the visible disk in about a week's time. Watch the region in the middle of the disk. It has a major flare-up just at the end of the movie. Once again, we have no SOHO chronograph data available for today, so we'll turn to the Stereo A spacecraft. We can see a couple of beautiful coronal mass ejections heading away from the Sun. As more and more of the quiet area of the Sun rotates onto the disk, I suspect that activity will drop. However, this little burst of activity from the region over the east limb may be a harbinger of more flare activity in the coming days. The auroral band seems quite inactive, and the KP index has varied between 0 and 3, which is classified as quiet. So in summary then, sunspot number has fallen to 54, as I predicted yesterday. The X-ray background is fairly constant at B2 level, as is the radio sun flux at 105 solar flux units. Solar wind speed is at just over 170 kilometers per second, and the KP index is rated as quiet. My forecast then is that we have a good chance of C flares, but M and X flares are very unlikely. We continue to get coronal mass ejections, so I think the likelihood of getting more of those is, is good, but a major geomagnetic storm is unlikely in the next day. Some wag pointed out yesterday on YouTube that if you invert the current Helium-2 image, you end up with a rather interesting picture. Does this remind you of something? Have a nice day.